Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pack Bros YouTube channel. My name is Chris, and today we are going to be unboxing these two little Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering tins that I got from Walmart recently. These were about $30 to $35 with taxes included, and what's included within the tin is two promo cards and three set booster packs. So it's about on par for what the set booster packs are going for. Um, they're not really gouging you here, but it's also not really a fantastic deal. I was just personally curious um, if these tins are actually worth it. I've seen them plenty of times at Walmart, and uh, I decided to go for it this time. So, of course, we got one of the tins with the one ring design, and we got another one with Gandalf on it. So we're, we're going to test our luck here. There's still plenty of value within the Lord of the Rings set. A bunch of fantastic cards that you can get there. And um, even rares actually have a lot of value within this set, which is fantastic to see because, you know, a lot of sets with Magic the Gathering, as of currently, is pretty much mythic or bust, and there's like one rare that may possibly be worth five bucks or more. But within Lord of the Rings, there's actually a lot of good value uh, across the board for all the rarities. Even some uncommons have some pretty good value. So both of these have the plastics off of them. I don't believe that the promo cards in particular carry that much value anymore. Uh, I'm sure at release, they did contain some value. So I'm assuming the promo cards are just gonna be right on the top. Oh, we actually have a little bit of foam. Um, let's, let's see. Oh, ooh, okay. So, oh, do they both come in here? They do both come in here. All right, so, there's our promo, Lathril Blade of the Elves. Very nice. And on the back here, we have Land of War Elves with the Shooting Star design. That's really cool. Not too certain what the value is of these, but there's our two promo cards out of that one. I'll set those off to the side, and we'll get the three set booster packs out of here. All right, so there's the first tin with the promo cards, second tin with the promo cards. Let's see what we get. The same thing? The exact same thing. Okay. Okay. Land of War Elves, and Lethril Blade of the Elves. So we got two copies of each of those cards, and we have our six set booster packs. Let's see if we can make our money back or possibly profit. Here we go. With our first set booster pack from Lord of the Rings. Of course, we got the art off the top. Um, I've only opened the collector booster box, so I'm not sure what the configuration is, of the set ones, so we're gonna find out. We started off with the land, common, common, common. Okay, so one, two, three, four commons into our uncommons. I'm actually gonna separate the uncommons from the commons because I know there's some decent ones. I believe the ring wraiths or the wraiths are some good ones. Gandalf, friend of the Shire, says so three, four. There's a showcase. Ooh, and we actually got a mythic out of our first pack, Witch King of Angmar. That's nice, and a foil on the back. Very cool, very cool. Not a bad start. Let's go into the next pack here, see what we can do. Art card. One, two, three, four, five. Those are off to the side. Legolas, Counter of Kills on the Uncommon. Friendly Rivalry, Gimli, Rising of the Day. Sam Wise, the Stout Hearted on the Showcase, and a Rare, Sauron's Ransom, okay. And an Uncommon Foil, and Draval Horizon Witness, token on the back. That pack not so hot, but it's all right. We got four more to go. Here we go, Art Card. One, two, three, four, five. Into the Uncommons, Shadow Summoning, Theoden, King of Rohan, the Mouth of Sauron, Ugluk of the White Hand into a common borderless. I didn't know we can get borderlesses here, but I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm not happy with the card, but the chance of borderless is cool. Borderless Nasty End into a rare Elven Chorus into an uncommon foil Grand the Gatebreaker. Again, not a fantastic pack. One mythic so far. This is our fourth pack. Let's go with that. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Holy crap! How many? How many reds is that in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's set eight reds in a row. Good googly moogly. All right, sorry. I got I got a little bit excited there. Another uncommon. Frodo Baggins on the showcase. Uncommon. 
Rare Fangorn Tree Shepherd. And another common foil. Gosh, this foil spot is killing me. Ooh, do we get list cards? Huh? Okay. I guess we get cards from the list. Collective Restraint. Wow. That's from 2000. I have no clue what that's valued at, but that's cool. All right, second last pack here. Art card. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Grand the Gatebreaker on the Uncommon. Goblin Fire Leaper on the Uncommon. Fear Fire Foes on the Uncommon. Lash of the Balrog on the Borderless Common. Rare Borderless of Sting. The Glinting... Yes, Glinting Dagger. Mary Esquire of Rohan. And another Common Foil of Gimli's Fury. What the heck is that? Okay. Wait, you can tear this card? Okay, I have no idea what that is or what it's worth, but I'm going to set it there. Last pack. Only one Mythic, which really blows bigly. So let's see if we got that last pack of luck here. Art card. One, two, three, four, five. Another common, uncommon Gimli Counter of Kills. Rising of the Day. Shadowfax Lord of Horses. Uncommon Borderless. Rising of the Day. A rare Sting the Glinting Dagger again. And an uncommon foil, Gron the Gatebreaker. So, overall, not good. Don't believe I got my money back or even close to that. But it was worth a shot. little quick video here for you. Um, maybe give you guys a little bit of information and insight as to what you can probably expect if you buy these tins from Walmart. Uh, unfortunately, I'm all out of Magic the Gathering packs, which means I'm out of time. But I will see you guys in the next video.